seven, you'll get a video, go ahead and press skip, or you can watch it. Next, you'll have an option to choose your workspace. Go ahead and just pick classic for now. That'll look like it always has. Go ahead and close that window. The first thing we want to do is check for updates. So that's found under help, updates. If any updates are available, it'll display them here and then follow on stream instructions. If no updates are found, you'll get this message. Go ahead and press okay. Next, we wanna make sure it's not notifying us about any updates, product updates or anything like that. Um, we do, that'll email you. You do, however, want it to automatically download, so that's okay. Go ahead and close. Next, we want to set our default page size. So we come up here and click on New. Our default size is usually 24 inches by 35.5. And go ahead and set this not to show anymore. You can let it come up every time if you'd like that. However, please don't come into the color settings. We want to always leave that at whatever the default is. So we hit OK. Go ahead and do a little cleanup and close our hints option. Next, we're going to do some configuration so EFI works properly. You want to start under Tools up here on the top. Customization. First thing we're going to go to is Save. We don't want to make a backup before saving. Turn off the ask. We do not want to embed fonts. Uh, feel free to leave on the auto backup feature. Just make sure you clean out your temp folder from time to time. You can also specify a different folder on your D drive. Next, we're going to go into text, fonts. We do not want to use font navigator catalog. The last option will be under global. You want to come to printing driver compatibility. We want it to pick the EFI unit driver and select the only option available. Printer can match document page sizes and press OK. Now we can re-enable our AB color palette. So we go to color palettes. A lot of times it'll just show right here if you have a different version of Corel pre-installed. Otherwise come to open palette and you'll want to go to wherever the that'll reappear over here on the right. We want to draw something and use our print option. Go ahead and pick your EFI unit driver. Open the print preview. Set this to the first option on the list, match orientation and size. That's our auto sizing. Next, we can link our PPD. It always wants to know where it is. Easiest is to come to your C drive. Program files x86. And if you can find EFI. EFI unit driver. x86. I386, x64. And the PPD right there. Now we can adjust our EFI unit driver. This one already knows where it was. Most of the time, you'll get a, a window that looks like this first. It always defaults to Express, which is not your version, so it will not connect. If you get this window first, set it to XF. Tell it where EFI is located. Most of the time, if the key is on your computer, it'll be localhost. If it's somewhere else, go ahead and pick that, and it'll pre-fill the IP address. The username is admin, all lowercase. Password is the same, admin, all lowercase. And you will then get this window where you can pick your printers. And that's it.